Can we touch a little bit on what Sam Amick said as far as Yeah, go ahead. Zach Levine mm-hmm. have an interest in being Sacramento. I am interested in it. Um I I'm trying to find out where that would work out, but I'm a lot more open to it than it seems like a lot of people on King's Twitter are. Uh trying to tell me Zach Levine a bad player, all this other stuff. Um definitely not a bad player. Does he fit what they're trying to do? I could see where he does, but does Zach Levine intrigue either one of you guys? I'm intrigued. I'll say that. For the right deal, I'd take Zach Levine here. He's not someone you overpay for, I think, right now. No. But I don't so, remember who said it on, on, on Twitter. I don't know if it was King's Muse, the local guy. For, forgive me for not making a note of this. Might might even be the, the 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 fact that they're dumping salary. That's that's what they're trying to do here. They're trying to get off of this contract that they signed with Zach Levine. To me, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not doing the the Shohei Itani Giants thing that you were talking about last week about bidding up right. to ensure that I get him. Right. Like I don't even know that I'm including a pick. Like we'll make the money match. You really want to move on this contract? You want to move off from this contract enough? Well, you know, Davion's. You, you, it's going to be easy for you to move off of. We got Harrison. You're going to have to take that. Uh, we'll figure out some way to make this work. I don't know that I'm including picks. I'm certain. I'll, I'll I'm certainly not including plural mm-hmm. picks, plural. And I'll be completely honest. I don't hate it. I don't think I love it. The, w- the way I look at it is: Do you think Zach Levine is better than Kevin Herter? Is Zach Levine better than Kevin Herter? Yes. Yes. Zach so Levine improve, is better than right? Kevin Herter. Yeah. Uh, you, you improve like well i think he's is that too simplistic you like, probably cause, have cause, to give up are you giving I'm up i'm thinking you're giving up harrison too probably harrison, harrison herder i don't know if davion's included or not but you're giving up your starting power for small forward. So you you'd have a a hole and at that spot and that's something that you'd have to fill in either on the roster or i don't i don't know where else you would go to fill that in but that that would be problematic a little bit. Do you like a lineup of um, Fox, Levine, Keegan, Trey Lyles, and Sabonis? That's what it would I have like to it. be. I, I like it. I'd like to keep Trey Lance, Trey Lance, Trey Lyles on the uh, on the bench. Coming off. Well, you can't start four on five. So, what would you rather do there? Mm, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's JTA. <laughs> okay. So what, I don't think is it one of those KZ Akpala things? I don't think. Yeah. I don't right. know if I'm willing to do that though. Like I feel like you got to stick Trey out there. I'm not just going to throw like a guy like well, JTA out there just to like fill a spot. So the thing about that though is now you you have you have a guy that you can back up Trey Lyles with in Sasha. It feels like a guy that you can come off the bench. Is there a rotational Sasha? four you could pull from Chicago? Uh, like Patrick Williams, but I don't know what his contract is, and a lot of people don't really like. I mean, Manny talked about him. He's like, no, nah, you don't want Patrick Williams. I don't know. I feel like the the Herder or Levine thing is too simplistic because we know, obviously, with, with Herder, you know, Herder with Sacramento, and mm-hmm. maybe you can, you know, make a judgment with Atlanta too, given, you know. Kevin Herter will certainly tell you the dynamics of that team is is very different, but regardless, you're not, you weren't the guy there either. Mm -hmm. You, 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 you were important. You weren't the guy there. Zach, we, we basically know like Chicago. I mean, you can go all the way back, like, you know, Minnesota, if you want to, but, but but we know Chicago Mm -hmm. and feel like even with DeMar, he was the guy. The main uh, score or was the it was a one-two punch. It was a one-two punch. Are you doing um Herder Barnes Davion for Levine and Tory Craig? I I don't I don't hate it. So you're really in on this Zach. I don't I don't hate that. I'm thinking about I just it, feel man. like there's probably another player to come back, especially if the Kings move three in this conversation. Well, that's why that's why I threw Tory Craig in yeah, that's, six that's, seven that's small forward or whatever. Yeah. Two makes two million a year. Uh, I'm I'm thinking about I'm more I don't know if I'm I don't know if, if I'm, I'm doing it because what happens is 
if if you do you that do, deal, you don't know it. if you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, the, do that, that, deal, that's it. That's, that's the one. That's you you doing. you have to believe that that's the deal that does it. Yeah, but you're also you're getting an all star level player without giving up any of the core. And I don't know if you can do that in any other scenario. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, the the Raptors have like decisions to make. Are we just going to lose these guys for nothing? I mean, we're seeing some really stupid stuff. The Lori marketing stuff is ridiculous. <laughs> like you guys really th- like five picks. Well, Danny, sit your stupid ass down. Ain't nobody trying to hear you. <laughs> nobody trying to listen to you around the trade deadline. Will you stop? They gave me and, five for Rudy Gobert. And and and, and for like this all comes from Danny. Yeah. Danny blurts yeah. this out to anyone who will listen. Anytime you see Utah just as Boston, anytime you saw Boston tied to something, it almost certainly came from Danny Ainge. Five picks. That's What'd crazy. they say? Five ish? Yeah. What is it? Five ish? <laughs> Get out of crazy here. Talk. So I, I mean, that's that's the reason why it intrigues me. <laughs> BC's right though. Unless the Lakers call, then it's only two picks. <laughs> In, in the right. in the uh, 2032 and 2034 draft. Right. So that's the reason why it intrigues me because um, everybody wants to but make a move. You're saying all-star level player. Mm-hmm. But does is does that all-star level player fit this team? I feel like he does for that position that he's playing. And, and it also depends on – I don't know if you can have a conversation with him or anything like that, but he's going to have to change his game a little bit. He's going to have to understand it's not Chicago. It's not ISO. You're not going to get 20 shots a night. Um, it's, it, you're gonna, he's going to have to buy into that as well. But if he buys into that, yeah, I think he fits. I mean, isn't that kind of what the Kings are looking for at this point too, like a second bucket getter? Bucket getter? Like I know like Kyle, Kyle Matson on the inside has kind of talked about it last week. He said Sabonis can be the second best player, but they like he can't be the second highest scorer. I don't know if Keegan's going to be that right now this year. Monk, I don't know how, if he can be that like from the bench. Like, isn't that kind of what Levine is? Yeah. Not going to be your second best player. I think he'd be like the third guy right here. But he's going to go out and get you buckets. Yeah, I just like I said, I'm I'm I'd have to look at what exactly they'd be giving up for for a deal for Levine. But I think it's a non-starter for a lot of people. Like just judging by my my King's Twitter feed or whatever the case may be They're like so no, here's i don't want nothing to do with levine i think they need to calm down with all that so i don't think he's coming here to take the defense either i've seen that like he's in a common defense like i don't think that's happening so no. here as long as keegan murray is still on the team i don't think that as long as De'Aaron fox is still on the team that's not going to happen as long as mike brown is still the coach that's not going to happen but here's the thing with king's twitter or twitter in general mm-hmm. or fans you can't after a bad game or a stretch of bad games scream about how you want Harrison Barnes traded or you want Kevin Herter traded or you want Kevin Herter and Harrison Barnes traded and then to get a proposal for Zach Levine and go, no, 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 not him. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, that's fine. Answers all. But then who? OG Ananobi. Great. Pretty sure that's where this whole conversation started last summer. Mm-hmm. Got nowhere. Next. Pascal Siakam. Good luck. Is if you're willing to get in a bidding war, right? Because there very well may be one for him mm-hmm. in February. If you're willing to do that, trade multiple first round picks. Okay, which, which, do you? To be honest with you, the other thing that we don't talk about with with the Kings, and it doesn't mean you have to make a move, but if you got into a bidding war with anybody for Siakam or OG, you probably don't have enough, right? Like if OKC right. comes calling, well, like you don't have enough. And what it really comes down to, like, and we. If you don't have the, if they're trying to move off, if they're just trying to like start over Mm -hmm. and they don't want anything back, you don't have that now because Harrison has a couple of years left on his deal. Right. You lose that battle and the Pacers win because they're moving buddy. Right. You lose that. Pacers Pacers are another one. Yeah. That's they're, they're, they're in on, on, on all of this. And how, how bad are you going to feel if the Pacers trade for Zach Levine? Right. And that I, team goes on and cooks in the Eastern Conference. I am not him is exactly what you're talking about. You do not trade for Levine over options such as OG or Lori. You those you aren't options. Let, let's. This is my opinion. I can't speak in definitives or anything 
you know, like that. If oh if if Masai says OG and Siakam are available, everybody bring your best offers. I don't think the Kings can compete. They can't like Masai would have to want to want them to go to Sacramento and overlook better deals mm-hmm. because I don't think they can provide what OKC is looking for, or excuse me, what could pro- provide what OKC could propose. Indiana is another one. Um, I just like all, all the Kings really have is Barnes, Herter, and Davion and a bunch of second round picks. And I know people talk about first round pick, but that's like five years down the road. And then um, I'm not hanging, he throws a deal in there or whatever. Like what he would offer for Laurie, throws in Barnes and Davion a first, maybe two first for Laurie. Like the Jazz aren't doing that. Like yeah, that's not exactly, happening. Yeah. You don't even that's really not have possible. two first right so, now at this point. Like I, that's the thing that people, that I think about when people are like, yeah, throwing a first. To me, and I know deals get done this way, but to me, you don't even have a first. Like you can't even like realistically offer a first before 2028. That's five years from now. You don't have a first to offer. I think people need to kind of forget that unless they can do the thing like James always talks about. And that's like, get Atlanta to change, you know, that Mm -hmm. the protections on it outright, give it to them. And then I think that means you have the draft for 2020, Mm -hmm. 2025 or six. Uh, I think it's 2026. Yeah. Yeah, 2026. But without that, you're talking 2028 at this point. And I'll also ask, so what you mean? I am, two first round picks? Like you barely got one. I, I'll also ask. Uh, uh, I am not ham. You willing to trade? Do you guys hate Harrison Barnes and Kevin Herter enough to trade them for nothing? Because don't forget, OG and Siakam can. Mm-hmm. They could do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Siakam already said um, he's not signing an extension until he hits free agency. Yeah, and this isn't a Domas situation where he has a year and a half left. Right. Like you got to be. As long as you're willing to lose them for absolutely nothing, hey, do you. Throw your proposals out there. Let them rock. I don't think Monty is. I don't think Monty's willing to lose two of his starters on a hope and a prayer. And this is where when you talk about Levine, you kind of get into talking about getting, getting money off the books a little bit. But the other problem that the Kings have, in my opinion, is – the the guys that they're sending over have have contracts for multiple years. Well, right. Like, why would Her- Toronto and want Herter's three what, more 26? years? Yeah, why would Toronto want what is it two or three more years of Harrison Barnes? Mm-hmm. Like for what? Mm-hmm. Once again, you got it, if you got relationships with these people and they're looking out and you know you help them out later on down the road or something like that. Some you know wink wink or whatever. Cool, but. I don't know if the the Kings have a whole lot of attractive pieces right now. So to like be like, nah, I don't want that. I don't want Levine. I'd rather have da da da. You're probably not getting that. Your best bet might be Levine. He wants to come here. He's got years on his deal. But is Zach? Le- but is that reportedly. is that making a move to make a move, or is that making a move to take you where you want to go? Because as you noted, you do that deal. That's pretty much it. I think it gets you're, you better. You're. Does it get you where you want to go? I think it can. Absolutely. I think it can, too. Zach Levine, like, people say, like, he's in Chicago. He's got bad attitude, ego, and all this. Like, I don't necessarily hold it against players who are in bad situations. Too. Chicago is not a place where anyone wants to be. Anyone's going to have a bad attitude. Look at DeMarcus Cousins in Sacramento for 10 years. All right, it happens. You get him into a better situation. Obviously, the ego and stuff, I'm sure like that. He's going to want to play ball. Levine was a darling two years ago when they were winning. Mm-hmm. Like, people were... They had the great piece about him getting the call, making his first all-star team, and all of a sudden he's turned his career around. All of a sudden, like who's happy in a bad organization? I see this a lot. Russell says Zach Levine has too many injuries. He's played 18 games this year. You look back at last year, he played 77. That's 77 and an 82. Mm-hmm. The year prior, the 2021-2022 season. I think that was the 72 game season. Yes. He played 67. The previous 72 game season, he played 58. Uh, then you got 60, 63, uh, and then you have a, 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 co- a couple of uh, injury shortened seasons where he went from Minnesota to Chicago. Um, I think that's a little overblown. 
just a little bit. A little bit. Um, he, he has had injuries. But he absolutely has. But so I, a little bit. Over. It's a little overblown. Uh, I don't know what the answer is. I just know you can't have it both ways. You can't be mad at Harrison Barnes and Kevin Herter and then be upset when someone says, well, what about Zach Levine? Mm -hmm. Because your idea of Siakam or Laurie Markin, that's not going to work. 